Hi, today I want to teach you how to crochet this quick little headband. We are working in rows back and forth like this. And the arrow effect you see right here comes by decreasing in the middle. I will show you how in a minute. Just follow my instructions and you will have this headband in a couple of hours. So let me show you how to do it. First, a little about the materials. I've used this gorgeous alpaca yarn. It's 75% alpaca and 25% wool. And this is a DK weight, 50 grams. I used, uh, this is what's left of a skein. So almost an entire skein for this headband. I've also used a four millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. And then finally a tapestry needle to weave in the ends and sew the headband together in the end. So we begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we make a chain. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. That's two chains. We will, tw we will chain 27 in total. So four, five, and 27. After this, we will be working into these chains. You skip the first one and move on to the second chain, where you insert your hook and do a single crochet. So you yarn over and pull through one loop, then you yarn over and pull through two loops. That's your first single crochet. Then you find your next chain down here and insert your hook and do a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And the next chain down here, insert your hook and do a single crochet. Do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. We chained up 27 and we skip the first one, so you should have 26 single crochet when you're all the way across. And then we have our first row. To turn, we chain one, so yarn over and pull through, and then turn the work. For all my alpaca yarn projects, I only use this yarn from gorgeous alpacas. They're a small alpaca farm located in England and they produce the most amazing blends I've ever tried. I really love everything about it, but especially the smell. Alpaca is so great because it's stronger than mohair and finer than cashmere, and then it's smoother than silk but softer than cotton, and then it's more breathable than thermal knits. If you're planning a project with alpaca yarn, I definitely recommend checking out gorgeous alpacas. In this first stitch, we will skip the first chain, this turning chain, and in the second one, we will do a back loop single crochet. So we insert the hook between these two loops and only grab the back loop and do a single crochet. So you yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two, just like a regular single crochet. And then we will do another back loop single crochet in the same stitch. So you insert your hook through the same back loop of the stitch and do another single crochet. And then you move on to the next stitch. This one, still only through the back loop, you will do a single crochet. And then we continue another single crochet in the next stitch. And you have to count. So one, two in the same stitch, but it is two. One, two, three, four. 
we will do 12, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then the final one, 12. And then for the next two stitches right in the middle, we will skip these stitches. So one, two, and then go for the third one, this one. So skip this one, skip this one, and then insert your hook through the back loop of the third stitch in the middle. And then do a back loop single crochet. And then one back loop single crochet all the way to the end of this row. And that's your first row. Then we chain one to turn the row. So you yarn over and pull through and turn the work. Now in this first stitch, we will do a back loop single crochet. So you skip your turning chain and go on to this second one. Then you insert your hook through the back loop only and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two to make your first back loop single crochet. Then in this first stitch we do another back loop single crochet. So two stitches in the same stitch. So insert your hook through the same stitch and do a back loop single crochet. Then in this next stitch you will do one back loop single crochet. So insert your hook through the back loop of the next stitch and then do a single crochet. Then find your next stitch down here, insert your hook through the back loop and do a single crochet. You will do 13 back loop single crochet. So one, two, that is the same stitch but you, it will count as two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, and the final one, thirteen. And then these two next stitches, we will skip these stitches right in the middle. So one, two, and then in this third stitch, we will do a back loop single crochet. So skip two and then insert your hook through the back loop of the third stitch and do a single crochet. And then one back loop single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end. In the final stitch of the row you will do two back loop single crochet in the same stitch. So through the back loop, one single crochet, and then insert the hook through the same back loop and then do another single crochet. Then we turn the row. So chain one and turn and then skip the first one. And then in the second one, you do two back loop single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook, do a single crochet, then insert your hook through the same stitch again and do another back loop single crochet. 
and then one back loop single crochet all the way to the middle. And again, 13 stitches all the way to the middle. So we did two, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and the final one, 13. And then again, you will skip the two stitches in the middle. So one, two, and then in the third one, you do the next back loop single crochet. And then one back loop single crochet all the way to the end of the row. And again in the final stitch of the row you do two back loop single crochet in the same stitch. So first one and then insert the hook through the same stitch and do another back loop single crochet. Then you chain one and turn the work. And then you just repeat the same row over and over. So you skip the first one. In the second one you do two back loop single crochet in the same stitch. So that's one and another. Two and then in the next one back loop single crochet all the way to the middle. In the middle you skip these two and then you move on up here where I do two back loop single crochet in the final stitch and then you turn and do the same thing again. And you see this arrow effect comes by skipping these two in the middle and then you are adding them again in the edges. So just continue with this repeat of the row again and again until your headband reaches around your head. When it's long enough to reach around your head, you're now done with the crocheting part and ready to connect the ends and sew it together. You see it tends to curl a bit, but that's all right, it will straighten up. So grab your scissors and cut the yarn and pull the hook through the loop. Then find your tapestry needle and thread it and put the ends together and make sure it doesn't twist so you see it fits like a glove make sure to straighten up the ends or the edges out here to make sure they are even before you begin sewing it together. And then just do the mattress stitch all the way to the other end. The mattress stitch is where you put the needle down in between the two layers and then from down and up the opposite side. And again, then you have your thread over here. Then you push your needle in between the two layers and then from down and up the opposite side. And then again, from here, down in between the two layers, down and up the opposite side. You don't have to use the mattress stitch. I just like using the mattress stitch when I sew things together. I think it's the most invisible stitch and I like doing it. But you can just go crazy and <laughs> go crazy with the needle and use any stitch you like. But just sew it together all the way to the end, down here and then up the opposite side. 
When you're all done, you weave in the end. Just push the needle through underneath some of the stitches and again back through the same stitches three times, then it won't get up again. That's it. And we cut the yarn. And you can now fold it over. And you see it curls a bit, but once you wear it once or twice, it will stop this curling. So that's it. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!